I don't generally get a lot of NASA astronomers in here. Is this your first time visiting a therapist? Yes. I mean, I'm not crazy or anything. Oh. You have a degree in psychiatric therapy, too? No. I just meant... Well, then please uh, leave the diagnoses to me, Mr. Astronomer. I think we need to start with a test. Something to gauge your state of mind. I'm going to show you images of shapes, and I want you to tell me what you think they look like. I think I've seen this in the movies. Hush! Sorry. Now, just relax and tell me the first thing that comes into your mind. Ready? Ready! Okay, well, this is obviously a region of star formation as seen in the infrared with NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. You can see the red clouds of dust It's a rose. What? It's a rose. See, there's the red bud, that's the green base. Oh. Let's try another one. Ah, well this is the Helix Nebula taken by the Spitzer Space Telescope. The star in the middle used to look similar to our own sun, but then it died and blew out all the dust that we see in blue. It's an eye. An eye? Yes, you got it wrong again. I didn't realize there were right and wrong answers to these... Next things. image. Well, I was going to say it was the core of a thick dust cloud that's starting to form stars, but I guess you probably... Snake. ...see a snake. Right. Do you have a problem with snakes? Not really. But you couldn't seem to find this one. Is it a phobia? I really don't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure this What really... do you see? Uh, well, this is the Stevens Quintet Galaxy Cluster. There are five galaxies here, four of which are actually colliding rather violently with each other. Are you telling me you can't see the face? There's a face? Yes! See, here are the two eyes. Down here is the mouth. Oh, yeah. It's a face. He looks happy. It's a she. Are you taking this test seriously? Of course. Because we can stop it right now if you're not. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> okay, uh, so for this one, I guess it's kind of a spider-shaped thing? No, the notes here say it's a star-forming nebula. Uh, now, see? I knew that. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, this one also shows where new stars are formed out of gas and dust. In this case, hot, massive stars are sculpting the dust by bombarding it with radiation and winds. In the top of these pillars, you can see hundreds of young stars that are This just... is obviously a mountain range! Okay, last chance. Um, right. This is effectively a bubble in space that has expanded into interstellar gas and dust. G what? Nothing. Please continue. Okay. Um, so this bubble stimulates star formation as it expects. Um, hmm? Mayor, let me put an overlay on top of it. Yes, exactly. That white line showed where the edge of the bubble has interacted with the dust. In Gah. Gah? <laughs> Maybe this will help. Star. What? You were humming Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The next word is star. It was the alphabet song. Not everything is about astronomy. That is the letter G. It's clear that your astronomy job has clouded your mind. I think we're going to need more sessions together. Many more sessions. Oh, um, look, I'll be honest. I really just wanted to take some time off from work, but I didn't have any vacation days. So I figured, if I got a doctor's note... <laughs> Wait, you came here so I could sign a note for you, so that you could take time off work. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? A vacation is exactly what you need to take your mind off of astronomy. Here you go. Thanks! Have a good time, and remember, no work. Don't worry. I'm looking forward to just hanging out at home and catching up on all my astronomy magazines. Astronomy? Yep, got a couple hundred to go through. They're all about the latest findings from NASA's Spitzer, Hubble, and Chandra Space Telescopes. It's hard to keep up when you're working, you know? Carol, cancel my four o'clock. Make yourself comfortable, Mr. Astronomer. Aww. Gah, gah, gah.